You talked about some visual and hearing problems. Tell me about that. Um, visual is still my worst. Um, like in the morning when I wake up, you know, I 20 20 vision. You know, I go into the doctor and you know, it's morning time, 20 20 vision. Uh, if I go at night, maybe 60 80. I mean, it's that bad. Um, um, and I have different prisms. I don't know if you know people that have different uh, pre pre prescriptions of prisms. And I was just noticing um, last night that I put so much strain on my brain that none of the prisms are sufficient enough now to when I strain my brain, they get in such a cycle. So you're your vision deteriorates as you get tired. As I get tired, and after it starts at about six, six, eight hours. Now, is your vision issues, are they related to the headaches at all? Um, that, I don't think so. But Because um, believe it or not, I have worse headaches when I'm more awake than I do when I'm getting tired. And I don't know that I just more aware of them, but um, yeah, I push myself. I work probably 14 hours, 16 hours a day, seven days a week. And, what problems are you having with your hearing? Um, right now, it's not too bad. Um, originally, it was, I, I guess you'd call it Superman hearing. I could literally hear like bugs crawling. I mean, it was so accentuated that I could hear a pin drop. And, um, and of course, when you have a stimulation problem to be that sensitive to the sound, um, it was really hard in the beginning, especially having two young kids. So you can imagine, I was nutty by the end of the night. Um, Did anybody ever suggest that the problem wasn't your hearing, but the filter? the inability to filter out all of that noise? No. no they, they never, I never really dealt, dealt with the audio part of it. Um, and to this day, I still, when it gets tired, it feels like it's clogged, almost like there's wax in it. And, um, 